Good afternoon, folks. Here we will give a very brief and high-level introduction to the biological problem of hypomagnetic field exposure, that is, the loss of the normal geomagnetic field environment we have lived with for 12,000 years since the last major excursion. This is an issue that compounds the health problems we are already expecting during the magnetic pole shift set to happen before 2050, which have included the exposure to more solar and cosmic ray impact with a weaker magnetic field of Earth, leading to more direct radiation exposure and induced electric currents. We already know that the well-studied problems will get worse. The cardiac impact to heart rate, blood pressure, strokes, and heart attacks, the increase in DNA mutations, negative impacts on the central nervous system, a vast psychological impact, especially on emotional instability, and rise in autoimmune effects. We will also be affected by these influences on other species in the food chain, including the navigational disruption to migratory and magnetoreceptive creatures. But this hypomagnetic field problem is the icing on the cake. There's literally thousands of studies on the topic, can't hit them all here, but where we discussed the reactive oxygen species and reduced gene expression this morning is a great place to start. It was not the first time that reactive oxygen species were pegged as one of the key reasons low magnetic field exposure can cause biological problems. For over 60 years, especially with the move of humans into space, the subject of living without Earth's magnetic field has exploded in attention. Like I said, there are thousands of studies on how this condition affects living creatures, and we'll go over just a handful of those here, starting with some of the animal studies. From major problems with the smallest organisms, which constitute the base of the food chain, the cellular impact is clear. This begins at the embryonic stage, critically impairing survival of the fetal cells. Physical deterioration of bone has been shown in rats and other creatures with simultaneous impairment of cognitive processes, including motor function, attention, and memory. That memory issue has been seen several times, including to the point of inducing amnesia, which has been seen in various species exposed to lower the normal magnetic field environments. There is still a lot of debate on the mechanism for the neurogenesis impairment effect. It's an open question in the field. The skeletal issues have been better nailed down to cell impacts and mitochondrial dysfunction. The cellular problems are also what affect heart rate variability in some embryos. Ion-mediated processes appear to be the main inflection point for invertebrates and fish, critical for marine life overall. They have also found higher pain sensitivity in mice, increased levels of anxiety, there's that emotional issue again, confirming previous studies on impact to behavior and mood. Far fewer direct human studies have been done due to the fear of negative health outcomes, but the issue of space travel has fueled several such studies and the results are no less alarming. They say the same heart rate variability impact, this time using healthy male subjects, is something that we should expect. The study also did a comprehensive review of the physical and psychological impacts to the human body, including those cognitive problems once again. Human cancers, especially neuroblastoma, are induced by this hypomagnetic condition, and later studies have shown that this is due to an increase in glucose uptake by those tumor cells in low field environments. There are even changes in the human eye and evidence of increased error rates and time to complete tasks. A direct impact to DNA methylation has led to major concerns over human embryo development in hypomagnetic conditions, and recently, the studies have moved towards trying to nail down the detailed mechanisms of how all the human physical and psychological systems are affected. That's the open question in the human study-related field. Folks, that was less than 1% of the studies in this field, but the message should be clear. In addition to the direct solar and cosmic ray impact to biological health, there's an additional and equally concerning negative effect of losing the geomagnetic environment we've all come to know. It affects anxiety, the heart, cell processes, DNA, and much more. And all of the health effects expected during a magnetic pole shift are added to the climatological, volcanic, and other problems that come with these events every cycle. It's not hard to see why the majority of extinctions occur during magnetic excursions. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.